Hello there, every pony, everyone, whoever is out there that is listening to this. Um, I will be reading a fanfic or whatever by Sharpshooter. Um, this one is about Saber Spark and Paleo. They will be best friends in this, and apparently do some very interesting things. I guess I should begin. Damn it, Paleo. Saber Spark said, as he worked furiously on his latest creation, deciding it would be a good idea to do it in the middle of the night. Why did you have to convince me that doing most of the work would be a good idea? I don't know, because I wanted you all by myself. Paleo grinned mischievously at his laptop. W what? Saber Spark cringed instinctively. Even if he was talking to Paleo over Skype, and Paleo should have been unable to see him, unknowingly to Saber Spark, Paleo was sitting outside of his bedroom, or his bedroom window, watching Saber Spark at his computer. You heard me. A moment passed. I'm kidding. Another awkward moment passing. Paleo posted a link in the Skype conversation. Watch it, Saber. I guarantee you'll like it. Saberspark unwittingly clicked the link to find a video of Generation 3.5 ponies and subsequently passed. Uh, so, uh, uh, subsequently passed out. Why can't I get that word right either? Subsequent, uh, subsequently passed out to, from the torture. Paleo took this opportunity to force open the window and squeeze inside. He tied the unconscious Saber Spark, or eh, he tied the unconscious Saber Spark to his very own bed, making sure to have all four limbs securely attached. Five minutes later, Saber Spark woke up to find himself to be within inches of something hairy and sweaty. The beads of sweat having already been leaking onto his face. Good, you're awake. Saber Spark recognized the voice to be his best friend's voice. Paleo, even if it sounded different from what he had heard over the microphone, I don't like the concept of raping somebody who won't remember it. Saber Spark tried to yell, but his mouth was stuffed full of unkempt rags, smelling faintly of deodorant. Trying to crane his head over, he saw Paleo sitting down, naked, on his right, and was rapidly approaching the edge of the bed where his feet lay. He himself was naked, although he could tell Paleo wasn't gentle with his clothing. For on the floor he saw strips of cloth that appeared to be his clothing, as well as bits of jeans. He now recognized the dirty rags to be his own shirt, although the, this deduction led him to no real gain. A sudden pain emerging from his anus startled him from the simple thought. It was a sharp pain, as if it was being stuffed with broken glass. He cried in pain as much as the rags would allow, but it was no use. Giving himself something to do, he managed to work his neck to see that Paleo had indeed stuck his own penis into Staber Spark's anus, and there was a sick pleasure spreading across his face. Paleo soon, became, uh, soon grew bored of this endeavor and returned to the place beside Saber Spark's head. He tore the rags out of Saber Spark's mouth, which then caused Saber Spark to reflexively gasp and spit out a mix of bile and blood. The penetration of his anus had not gone without any consequences. This brief period of Saber Spark throwing up was short lived, however, for Paleo stuck his hard cock into Saber Spark's mouth. Saber Spark could tell that Paleo was close to ejaculation. But otherwise, Paleo didn't let this show. Paleo showed no mercy for his best friend, going as hard as he could go, and as fast as he would go. This, however, quickly tired Paleo out. But unfortunately for Paleo, the ejaculation sent a white liquid flying into Saber Spark's mouth, and the space was quickly filled, forcing Saber Spark to swallow. Paleo was deprived of energy, yet kept his penis in Saber Spark's mouth. Who couldn't catch the hint? Paleo was forced to state it bluntly. My cum. Swallow it all. Saber Spark was forced to comply with Paleo being on top. Now call now call the best commentator of all time. Oh uh, wait, now call Paleo the best commentator of all time. Paleo returned his now limp penis. Or Paleo removed his uh, I can't read anymore. Paleo removed his now limp penis, and Saber Spark complied with this as well. Even as he thought to himself that Paleo was a was a pretentious bitch. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed.